सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड विद द फर्स्ट मेथड ऑफ आई आई एम मेथड एंड वी हैव सॉल्व मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू द आई आई आर फिल्टर डिजाइनिंग राइट सो आई इन द फर्स्ट सेशन ओल इन द फर्स्ट वेन आई स्टार्टेड दिस मॉड्यूल ओली आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी हैव टू इंपॉर्टेंट मेथड्स वन इज आई आई एम मेथड एंड सेकेंड वन इज बाई बाई लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मेथड बाई लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मेथड ओके so this is the second method here bilinear transformation method or the we can call it as simply blt method in the question they won't be giving you the full name sometimes they would be mentioning only the term blt okay so in this nothing much to do in order to convert from h of the h of s to h of z okay from analog filter to digital filter we should be just substituting the value of s whatever is given in the equation as 2 by t Into one minus z inverse divided by one plus z inverse and solving the problem. That's it. Nothing much to do. Wherever s is there, put this term. That is two by t one minus z inverse divided by one plus z inverse and then automatically it would be converted to h of z. Okay. Then we should be further simplifying the equation. Just substituting and keeping it, we won't be getting any marks. Further simplify the equation and try to re reduce as much as possible the equation. Okay. so this this is only one uh, simple method okay so let us uh, see two problems and uh, understand this method very carefully a system function is given as h of s is equal to 0.65 divided by t the whole divided by s plus 0.65 divided by t okay the divided by t is there that's not visible and uh, for this we should be obtaining the system function of digital filter using blt method that is bilinear transformation method okay very simple let us start solving this problem now h of s is equal to 0.65 by t divided by s plus 0.65 divided by t right what what i have told you if you want to convert this into h of z wherever s is there you should be substituting this term right so 0.65 By t divided by we have s here so two by t one minus z inverse divided by one plus z inverse plus point six five by t okay now nothing much to do just further simplify this whole equation that's it that is point six five by t divided by multiply two here so two minus two z inverse divided by t my t plus t z inverse plus 0.65 by t so here you take the lcm cross multiply and solve it so 0.65 divided by t the whole divided by uh, t would be getting multiplied 2t minus 2t z inverse then 0.65 would be getting multiplied plus 0.65t plus 0.65t z inverse the whole divided by t into t is t square Plus t t t square z inverse, so that would be equal to 0.65 divided by t, and I am bringing this uh, whole term t into t plus t z inverse to the numerator. This term I am bringing it to the numerator. After bringing it to the numerator, I have taken t common outside so that I can cancel this t here. So after taking t common outside, we are left with t plus t z inverse, right? Then In the denominator part, 2t plus 0.65t, that is 2.65t. Then uh, minus 2t plus 0.65t, that is minus 1.35t z inverse. Right. So here t t would be getting cancelled. So we are left with 0.65 into t plus t z inverse divided by 2.65t. Minus one point three five t z inverse. Again, we can take t co common outside in this equation. So, point six five t into one plus z inverse. The whole divided by t into two point six five minus one point three five z inverse. So, t t would be getting cancelled, and our final answer would be point six five one plus z inverse. Divided by two point six five minus one point three five z inverse. Okay, 
So this is way in this way we should be solving the bilinear transformation method from h of s to h of z. Very simple. We should be thorough in the calculation part. We should be very quick in calculation. Then only you can solve this kind of problems. Okay. So we have one more problem. Let us see that and wind this session. So this is the next question. Here they have given h of s is equal to s plus 0.1 the whole divided by s plus 0.1 the whole square plus 16 and they have given the value of omega in this case here okay they have given omega is equal to pi by 2 and they have asked us to obtain the system function of digital filter using bilinear transformation method bl okay so here this problem is a bit dif different because uh, you know further in order to proceed this problem we need to remember some of the formulas okay and that I'm going to write it here. One is the BLT formula only. S should be replaced by 2 by T 1 minus Z inverse divided by 1 plus Z inverse. This you should be knowing. Then next is S is equal to Sigma plus or minus J omega. Okay. This is one formula. And one more is omega is equal to 2 by T tan of omega by 2. Okay. Why I am telling you to remember this much? Because in this uh, particular problem, they are they have given the value of they have uh, not given the value of t. Okay, so in order to find the value of t after substituting the in place of s, if you substitute this, and in order to find the value of t, these two formulas are very very important because they have given the value of omega here. If they mention the value of omega, you should be finding the value of t in the question and after substituting the value of s as this, then after simplifying, we would be getting one equation. In that equation, you should be substituting that t value. Okay. So, you won't be understanding now. I'm going to, when you solve the, when I solve this problem, you would be understanding what I'm talking about. Okay. So, that is, here they have given the value of omega as pi by 2. So first what I'll do is, I'll just uh, solve this uh, equation here first, that is s plus 0 0.1 divided by s square plus uh, point, uh, 2a s, right? 0 0.1 into 2 into s, so 0 0.2 s plus 0 0.1 square is 0 0.01 plus 16, that is equal to 16.01, okay? So h of s would be equal to s plus 0.1. divided by s square plus 0.2 s plus 16.0 now the denominator part if you consider that is uh, s square plus 0.2 s plus 16.01 we should be finding the roots for this okay so in order to because the roots for this would be of this form that is uh, sigma plus or minus j ohm okay from that we would be getting the value of omega that you should be substituting in this equation and finding the value and substitute the, the, the value of omega here okay and then uh, and then we should be finding the value of t okay so for that find the roots for this okay in the calculator what setup equation the highest degree is 2 so press 3 and write all the coefficients 1 0 0.2 16.01 and find out the two roots so first root is minus 0 0.1 plus 4i and second root is minus 0 0.1 minus 4i or simply we can write minus 0 0.1 plus or minus 4j right so you can see that this is of this form and in this what is the value of uh, sigma here uh, 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 and here what is the value of uh, omega here 4 right so in this equation now what we would be getting 2 by t tan of omega by 2 so here the value of uh, is equal to 4 right so 4 is equal to 2 by t tan of what is the value of omega here they have given pi by 2 so pi by 2 divided by 2 so pi by 2 into 2 right so that is equal to 4 is equal to 2 by t tan of pi by 4 so what is tan pi by 4 equal to tan pi by 4 is equal to 1 so tan pi by 4 means tan 45 tan 45 equal to 1 so we would be left with 4 and uh, multiplying t here is equal to 2 so t is equal to 2 by 4 or t is equal to 1 by 2 
okay so we have found the value of t now so now in this equation that is uh, this substituted equation in the question whatever they have given in this let us substitute the value of uh, s as a 2 by t 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse and let us see what answer we are getting okay that is h of s is equal to s plus 0 0.1 divided by s plus 0 0.1 the whole square plus 16 right so h of z would be equal to now in place of s 2 divided by the value of t what you have got here 1 by 2 right 1 by 2 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse plus 0 0.1 whole divided by 2 by 1 by 2 1 minus z inverse 1 plus z inverse plus 0 0.1 the whole square plus 16 right so now this we should be solving further let us see what answer we are getting now so if I solve that problem I would be taking a lot of time so I, I have already the so the solved problem I hold I already have it so from that problem only I will explain it from where I have stopped ok I have stopped here right I have substituted here now what I have done is 2 divided by 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 if you bring it to the numerator that would be into uh, 2 by 1 that is 2 only so that would be 2 twos are 4 so I have written here 4 ok then I multiplied 4 uh, with this term here so we would be getting 4 minus 4 z inverse then uh, in the denominator what we have multiplied here 1 by 2 Then we, uh, in the, uh, we we have taken the LCM here, so 0 0.1 into 1 into 1 plus z inverse into 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 into 1 is 0 0.1. Then 0 0.1 z inverse the whole divided by 1 plus z inverse. Okay, we have just taken the LCM here in the numerator side divided by here also we have done the same thing. Okay, we have taken the LCM and then we have written whole square plus 16. We can check the steps. Then what you have done is 4 plus 0 0.1 is 4.1. Then z inverse z inverse term is common so minus 4 plus 0 0.1 is minus 3.9 z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse the whole divided by again 4 plus 0 0.1 is 4.1 minus 4 plus 0 0.1 is minus 3.9 z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse the whole square plus 16 okay then what you have done is you have taken the LCM here and after taking the LCM we are, we are left with the 1 plus z inverse in the numerator right? denominator right that you have taken it to the numerator so here we have left with 1 plus z inverse the whole square in the uh, denominator so that I have taken up here the whole divided by 4.1 minus 3.9 z inverse the whole square plus 16 into 1 plus z inverse the whole square okay uh, after taking the LCM so 1 plus z inverse 1 plus z inverse one term would be getting cancelled so you would be left with 4.1 minus 3.9 z inverse into 1 plus z inverse divided by this we should be taking a, a minus b the whole square formula and uh, split the term that is this 4.1 the whole square that is 16.81 2 into 4.1 into 3.9 z inverse that would be equal to minus 31.98 z inverse then minus 3.9 z inverse the whole square that is plus 15.21 z power minus 2 plus 16 into again here a plus b the whole square you would be get, lefting 1 plus 2 z inverse plus z power minus 2 okay then solve it and like this one term we would be getting our answer for h of z that is minus 3.9 z power minus 2 plus 0.2 z inverse plus 4.1 the whole divided by 31.21 z power minus 2 plus 0 0.02 z inverse plus 32.81 okay so in this way this is just the mathematical uh, calculation substitution that's it okay so yeah that's all for this session guys uh, we have covered with two problems of uh, blt method so blt method only two problems are enough because uh, it's not that important but uh, if you know it it's very well and good okay but the first IIM method is very important so from this uh, module 5 uh, these two methods uh, I, I, I had I wanted to discuss with you all so I discussed it and uh, now the problems related to module 5 would be solved further in our uh, upcoming sessions not in the next session so from the next session I'm going to start with the uh, I've left with the properties of DFT right in the module 2 properties of DFT have covered only two properties one is linearity and periodicity 
I'm going to, I'm going to continue with the still more properties which are very very important because the problems related to those properties would be asked that is one is circular time shift property and circular frequency shift property those two properties are very very easy shifting properties very easy you can understand it so that that, that concepts have left it I'm going to cover it in the next session okay that's all thank you